Awesome Toad 21 here and today we'll be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S9 in 2019. This phone is a little over a year old and I still have to say it's still being made currently. You can still buy it pretty much anywhere brand new. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. We have the blue version and when it loads the outside we have a USB port, a more modern speaker. You still have a headphone jack. You got your fingerprint sensor here and your heart rate monitor, accelerometer stuff there, and you do have your camera. When you open the front here, you have your uh, front facing camera and your iris sensor, which opens up, it kind of looks like that. So you can just go ahead and fingerprint sensor works. This is now my personal phone. I've upgraded finally from that stupid iPhone 6 because I hate Apple nowadays. And now I'm right now using the Galaxy S9. So on the Galaxy S9, we still have that curved AMOLED screen. If we look around, we can still see it's quite uh, big of a curve. But looking at this, we do have Android Pie. This is the latest version of Android for this phone. It will be updated to Android 10, which we don't. I don't. As of now, there is no uh, thing for Android 10. But if we go into software information. I am a bit disappointed that the Easter egg, there's no Easter egg on this. Like Android for many years has done many different types of Easter eggs. All we do is we just see this Android Pie emblem here. So there, there's quite a bit of a difference from the more modern uh, Android Pie interface from Samsung. Like we still have the buttons here. Like the Samsung is done a lot of icon improvements and stuff like that but looking up stuff it's very fast like going to Google like doing Google and stuff is actually very fast like going right to Google like like there isn't that much improvement from the Galaxy S10 and the S9 other than the Galaxy S10 completely removed the top bezels but this phone is still very uh, fast, like smooth. It's pretty much what you would expect from a, a phone that is a year old. Like playing, like going to YouTube, like everything is just very fast. Like, like you can open up a whole bunch of programs and stuff like that. And I don't really see much of a problem. I do have to say that it does have the annoying Bixby option. I wish the Samsung would get rid of this. And I will disable this soon, but we do have Bixby, which is Hi. hated. Welcome to the new Bixby. Ah, shut up. Okay, I hate, everybody hates Bixby. Well, yeah, this thing definitely runs good. Let's see what Instagram says. Oh, CakeBoss103 likes my post. Okay, good. But yeah, looking at this, you do see quite a bit of changes, like... I do like how they've matched that with the curvature of the screen. I find that pretty cool. Now, one of the main things that people say that Samsung, a little bit of the cons of the Samsung curved screen, I don't really find this as a problem, but if you watch a YouTube video, uh, like let's say uh, this drop test video here, I don't have the full screen awesome code 21 here. but and you see course, some people don't test. like that the curve screws up I the video quality I really don't see that I don't really see that that much of a problem but some of your phone geeks out there find that oh I thought I was I thought my phone or the phone I was record I thought my camera stopped recording sorry about that looking at this like it's still pretty current, like I have no problems with anything. It's still still pretty good. Like playing games, I have no problem with it. It comes with game booster and stuff like that. Like here's a Trumpy wall. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Do you want to build a wall? Sure, why not? Strong and strong and huge. Tap in the blue to jump. All right. Oops. It's kind of hard playing that when I'm literally looking through the camera, but let's see. Blue, blue, red, red, red.
I gotta do a little faster, but there you go. I've gotten up to like a hundred and something with that game when I used to play it in the past. But yeah, this is actually very smooth. I very like this phone a lot. Probably gonna keep it for a while before I upgrade again. Um, sorry that I haven't been getting as many videos out as I used to. I kind of work at McDonald's now and I'm there a lot of the time. Lucky today I got uh, Fridays and Saturdays off and Tuesdays off. So those would probably be my filming days. And I hope to get some drop tests out and see what we have on my stash to get the drop tests going. But yeah, this is Awesome Toad 21 here reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S9. Be sure to subscribe, check out my Instagram, and as always, have a nice day.